everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited about doing this product review for you guys. This is something I've had on my desk for a while and I have yet to try it. So today I was like, I'm giving it a go and I'm going to try this out because I've seen a lot of videos of girls using it. And so I was like, I gotta give this a try now. It's, it's time to do it. This is the Tattoo Studio Maybelline Brow Gel and it's supposed to be waterproof for up to two days. So if you don't want to do microblading, and you hate doing your brows every day, this might be a good answer for you. I'm always feeling in the thicker areas of my brows, so this might be a good answer to not having to do that every single day that I do my makeup. So this is what the package looks like. And let's just unbox this little baby. So it's gonna come with a little wand that's very similar to a mascara wand. So that's just gonna be to brush the brow. This is the product right here. It comes in a little tube like this. And let's pop the top and see what's going on. So inside, this is gonna have another wand. So this is the wand that you're gonna actually put this on with. And then we're gonna use this wand to really brush it through the brow. Now, I know y'all are probably gonna ask me what color I am using. Ah, here we go. 260 Deep Brown. So that's the color that I'm gonna be using. Let's hope it matches, okay? Because this is gonna be waterproof for two days. Okay, so as y'all can see, I do have lots of gaps right here in the thicker part of my eyebrow. So I'm so excited about trying this and seeing how well it works. And let's hope that this matches because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be stuck with some crazy looking eyebrows. This is what the wand looks like. And you just start applying it mid-brow and I'm not putting a lot of pressure, you guys. I'm just tapping it lightly. I'm usually using a black eyeshadow that I fill in my brows, so I went with deep brown because I didn't know how black it was gonna be. This actually blends really well with the color of my brows, so I'm digging this color. If you use black a lot like me, this deep brown really blends well. I've never used a brown color for my brows ever. But the black, the thought of using like a black brow gel kind of scared me. So I went with deep brown. Okay, let me just brush this in. Wow, that's a huge difference, you guys. I'm looking at it over here in the camera and that's crazy how different my brows look. Wow. Okay, so I'm loving this so far. I can feel that it's drying. Um, as it's drying and you're combing through it with your little wand, you're gonna feel it getting a little bit stiff, but that's okay. Just keep brushing through and getting your hairs up. You don't want your hairs to stay flat to the skin, so comb them out and fluff them up. This is just supposed to be filling. You don't want them to paste your brows down. But oh my gosh, at the difference. Just You guys, look at that. Look at the difference. Is that not incredible? Like I'm, I'm totally digging it, for sure. This is a huge difference, you guys. I mean, from the get-go, when you saw just one done and one not done, I mean, how crazy did that look? It was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So, as you can see, too, it is not coming off, which I didn't think I was gonna have that kind of luck. <laughs> But I am, and it looks great. My eyebrows are really full, so if it'll last for two days, I'm gonna be really thrilled about it because then I won't have to do my brows every time I do my makeup. So stepping back and looking at myself in this camera over here on the screen, it looks incredibly dark. It, it really does. Like this is deep brown, and this might be as black as the black I use. Um, I mean, they're really, really, really dark. I'm not too fond of how dark these are, um, just because I'm more used to a natural look. So what I think I'm gonna try to do, because this is waterproof, 
is I'm going to get a little bit of coconut oil and I'm gonna run it through and try to soften it up a little bit. Okay guys, so I didn't go downstairs and get coconut oil. I just tried some of the Best Damn Beauty Oil. I have that up here um, on my desk and it worked just fine. So if you're using any type of makeup remover that has an oil base, it's going to take this off. So make sure you go around your eyebrows and try to avoid them. But if you get it wrong the first time you try this brow gel, just know you can get it off and you can try again. I think everybody should try this for sure. It's an awesome product. It is a game changer because I don't like having to do my eyebrows every single day. So if I can cut the time down and doing my makeup with something, you best believe I'm going to take that little extra shortcut. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and always subscribe. And until next time, y'all stay gorgeous.